Hello everybody, this is King Tut here and welcome to your second LEGO 5 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get started. So there are two ways to get started. Um, so one by um, a package config, which is going to be in the next video. And the other one is without package config, which is going to be in this video. So I'm going to be uh, taking you step by step. And then I'm going to be showing you step by step. All right. So first of all, you need to open up MySys2. If you don't know what MySys2, go back to my very, very first uh, C++ tutorial, my very first YouTube video. It's going to be in the card above. And then um, it depends on which compiler you put in. So if if you have a Ming W32 bit, you open the MySys 2 32-bit. If you have the um, Ming W64 bit, you use the MySys 2 64-bit. So in my case, it's going to be MySys 2 64-bit. And when you do, when you open it up, type in Pacman dash S capital S, or else it won't work. Ming W dash W64 dash X86 underscore 64 dash Allegro. If it's um, 32 bit, I think it's not this. I I think it's a uh, Ming W dash I6 I686. Um, I might look that up in the future video. So this will install Allegro 5. Type in pacman dash s ming w dash w64 dash x86 underscore 64 dash dumb all these stuff because you're gonna be using it in Allegro and when you when you're implementing sounds, image, um, and fonts. Uh, if you're gonna uh, run your program it's not gonna open and the reason why it won't open is because you don't include any of these stuff so you need all of this um, mumbo jumbo so that way your Lego program can run so once you got that done open up develop you create a project and then you go to the project menu and then you click properties and then you expand the C slash C plus plus general and then you go click on paths and symbols you go to the include tab and then make sure you click on GNU C plus plus so you don't want to put in the include files into the assembly or else it's going to be include files for the assembly language. We're not coding in assembly, we're coding in C++. So that's that's what I want to make that clear. So we're so once you click that, you need to put in the includes file. So it's going to be every includes that you've installed in MySys. And the include file is basically just um the external library you're using so the whole um, IO stream math that I showed you these are include files They're, they came from the include files so once you do that so if you want to do that you they're gonna be a dialog box out there uh, once you click add and then you click on the file system then it's gonna give you another dialog box then you go to C, the C drive, MySys 64, Ming W64, and then you go to include. And then once you highlight the folder include, you click select folder, and then that's going to close out the um, dialog window, and then you click OK in that one window. And then it's going to display to you the include path. Once you did that, you need to add the libs. So that's basically another way of saying you need to link the Lego 5 library. 
without linking the Allegro 5 library, you're going to get a bunch of undefined reference errors, and it's really unnecessary and it's really frustrating to look at. So, to do that, you go to the Library Paths tab, and then you click Add. And then the th same thing, you're going to get a pop up. And then you click on the file system. And then you find the directory for lib. So it's going to be on C drive, MySys64, MingW64, if you're on, if you have MingW64 bit installed. And you go to lib. And then you click OK or select folder. And then you click OK. And then once you do that, you go to the libraries tab so right here and then you need to put in lib allegro lib allegro primitives lib allegro image color audio ttf which is part of font so you need to put font as well and then you put a codec which is part of audio and then once you got that out of the way you click apply and close and then you need to put in the sample code to see if Allegro works. So without further ado, I'm going to be showing you the demonstration. All right, guys. So I already opened up C++. C++. So let's create a new project. So make sure you highlight C++ project. Click Next. And then make sure you put Hello World project and then give it its name. So let's just call it Allegro Tup. Click next. And then every setting is okay. Let's just change this to hello world. Click next. And then click finish. All right. So let's make sure this compiler works. So we'll click build. Don't worry, it's going to take off all the underlines. All right, so it actually finished the build. There's no errors, no warnings. So let's just click run. Or let's just click run here. I don't know why that didn't work. So if this didn't work, just click here. So you double click or just yeah, double click C slash C application and then click on search project and then doesn't matter which which one you click, double click it and click run. And then it prints out hello world as expected. So let's go back to the slides and I'll be uploading the slide. I'll be putting a link to the slide in the description below. So that way you guys have access it, to it. So control V and don't worry about that. We're going to be linking the Allegro library. So let's expand C slash C plus plus general. And we're going to go to paths and symbols and then GNU C plus plus because we're not programming in assembly. We're programming in C++. So do that. Add. And then you're going to have that pop up as I said. As I have mentioned. So you click file system. And then you're going to have that dialog window as I mentioned. You go to the C drive. And then search for MySys64. So you click that folder. And then... If you have MingW32, you click that. If you have MingW64 installed, click that. So um, you click include, click select folder, then click OK. And then you go to library paths, then click add, click file system. And then if you're on the include folder, hit that up arrow. And then click lib, and then select folder, and then select OK. And then you go to libraries. You might as well either go to the reference, 
and see what you actually what's going on now nope okay that's weird so so you put lib allegro you just type in lib allegro or you just go to add go to file system and since you're in the lib folder go here you click on the lib allegro then take off everything except lib allegro and then click OK. So I'm going to repeat for the rest of it. All right, so I forgot to mention you need to put uh, lib allegro fonts. So I already put it over here. So I already edited it. So I'm going to leave a link in the description uh, with the edited slide. So once you're done with that, you click apply and close. And then it's going to ask you to change as made. You want to rebuild it. Click yes. And then click run. Then it's going to ask you to save and launch. Just click OK. Everything should be fine. And then you're going to see this black circle with the red background and close by itself. That means it's working. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.